So, the secret sauce, I can't give you that, but <laughs> the backstory is my father created this company, it's called Jolly Jolly Bakery. Jolly is my mother, so you know, um, when he was younger, he, uh, he grew up in Nigeria, he fell in love with bacon. He learned over there actually, from Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah. So from there, he moved to the US and around age 20, he's been here for over 45 years now. He started this company, you know, he did pretty much his, his passion, you know, bacon, you know, seeing customer smile, customer service, and now we're here, we've been open for about 12 years in Houston. Yeah. Our Dallas location opened up in 2020 of November. The middle of COVID. Yeah, middle of COVID, so you know. We're still here, we're standing, and we're very blessed. So, so yeah, I'm very glad to, you know, treat y'all to the bakery. <laughs> so this is our two pound unsliced. It's very hot, so it's gonna... For you, awesome. Thank you. Yes, sir. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. This <laughs> yeah. So you know, we, we call it for real. Agege bread. Okay, in Nigeria, um, we really eat bread unsliced, and then you know we will rip it apart and like you know kind of like dip it in our, in our sauce, rice, or stew. But you know, um, in the U.S., we make slices as well and unsliced for our customers. When you bite into it, you're like, wow, this is some good bread. Like you know, biting into our bread, comparing it to like a bread from a. Uh, the grocery store, the taste doesn't match up at all. Because you know, ours is really home though. Like, like our bakers put that that love into the dough. You know, so our main goal over here is to make our customers very happy and get customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is our, our snack, our snack tray. So our snack tray, we serve a meat pies, chicken pies, scotch egg, and sausage rolls. And are you familiar with scotch eggs? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, this scotch egg is a British snack. Yeah, yeah. So you know, we, we cross culture and brought it over here. Yeah. Yeah. You too, yeah. <laughs> That's really good. That's perfect too. Better than I ever had for sure. Wow, wow, thank really. you. Thank you. Wow. Really, really good. Yeah, yeah, so you know, we do a lot of snacks here. Um, we do sweets as well. Uh, you know, bakery, we need sweets, of course. Oh, yeah. So we do muffins, kolache, scones, cinnamon rolls, we do slice cakes, and coconut macarons. Oh, we got the macarons. Those are, those are really good. So you ready for the next one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the chicken pie. Mm. I heard that. Mm. So the chicken pie oh. inside of it, it's filled with. So this looks like it was really done with like a fork, like a single. Fork. Oh yeah, yeah, yes sir, yes sir. You know, we really take care of the dough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's made with chicken, carrots, potatoes, and a little bit of spices. And look, this is good. And of course, the pastry is awesome. It's just flaky enough, but also has enough of the sauce. Yeah. You know, it, you can see it like all pot pies, right? Yeah, yes, A little sir. bit bland, curry, makes yeah. it a little bit warmer. Yeah, a little exactly. Bit. It gives it a little, a little more space, a uh, bunch of taste. How's that scotch egg taste? Yeah, yeah oh, good. Gosh. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Just for real. That's a tough call between the scotch egg or the chicken pie. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what do you think? So a little, oh, bit, of, little bit of curry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> about 3,000 calories deep on the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Freshly baked bread is an undersell. It's incredible and fresh and served with love, right? These folks are doing such a great job. It's so neat to see a 25 year old start a business during COVID. And it's lovely to hear that his father comes there. They're able to bond over this business and over his father's passion that he picked up in Nigeria. I mean, there's nothing more American than taking what you have and your traditional, uh, you know, cultural background, and, and allowing everyone else to, to take a taste and really enjoy that, and just get a window into your heart. Awesome, and he has a lot of heart. So, if you were around Skillman and, and Six Thirty Five, make sure you stop by Jolly Jolly Bakery. Get uh, at least uh, the un well, you can get the sliced bread if you really want. But supposedly, I'm told by some folks that the unsliced is better. You slice it yourself. Uh, you know, uh, you gotta be careful because I'm gonna slice it too big. And then if, I got some dinner rolls, and these are supposed to be. Uh, I, I believe it better than the King's Hawaiian, uh, which probably don't have a lot of preservatives in it because they've been in a truck for weeks. So, 
get over here as quickly as you can and uh, I'll see you soon.